everybody. My name is Harsh. Hi, my name is Mohammed Nisar. And today we're going to show you what we have got in our pastry tool kit. Starting with the knives, I have set of three knives, one very long, another two medium. I used to cut for the sheet tray, the big sheet tray frame. For that, we use a big knife, and for uh, normal use, we just use two of the medium knives. Then we've got a cleavage chopper. I have some rubber bands to get a nicer grip on it, and normally to cut strawberries or dice food. This is very helpful for us. Then we've got a bread knife. Everybody knows. Very handy too. We've got a zester. It's uh, we just use this to take out the zest of the lemon, citrus fruit. Then we've got a brush, which always helps to soak. Then we've got two very nice chocolate spatulas. Make sure it's very flexible, very bendable. So we can always use for the chocolate works in our pastry. Then we've got a set of rulers for measuring. We've got a set of scissors for cutting marshmallows and uh, piping bags. Then we've got a set of fondant tools. These are big ones that I got it from UK. And uh, to finish the wedding cakes, we've got a set of small tools and a rolling pin just to make uh, all the fondant work and everything. Then we've got a set of two cutters, one square, one round. I have got a set of deep scrapers, what you say, and some of the foam, which we use for chocolate work, and different sizes of foams, which you use sometimes for decoration on cake, on antrome, and to make nice swirls. We've got a pizza cutter, then we've got a the designer tool for fondant. We've got the zesters, uh, the long zest which you take it out from. We've got melon scooper. Then we've got the uh, this you use to make a hole in the apple or take the core of the apple out. And we use for cupcakes sometimes. We've got two types of scatula. This is heat resistance. This for chocolate. This is for sugar. We've got thermometer, digital one, to take the temperature of sugar, chocolate, whatever we use for. Then we've got a small wing scale, which is very useful for molecular gastronomy or when you have to measure a small amount of agar agar or anything. We've got a stainer for cocoa butter sieber or for daily use, a small sieber to stain the color of chocolate or anything. Then we've got spatula, a bend one and a straight one. Everybody knows how they use it for. I've got a plenty of uh, small knife, pallet knives, and an uh, extra knife. It helps us to cut fondant or in normal daily day to use. Then I've got a set of fondant cutter. It's very helpful to make border or something. We've got a. Okay, this one is a. This we normally use for wedding cakes to cut the dumbbells that we put inside. Then I've got a set of nozzles. You'll find every set of nozzles, whatever there are. I normally use French tip, open tip. And we have got all types of nozzles, whichever you wanted for meringue, for ganaches, for everything. I've got plier. This one is to pull out the dumbbells from the wedding cake. Then I've got a set of magnets. We use for baking, pin, a small cutter, a cello tape, uh, inch tape just to measure the width of the fondant. We've got blades. Uh, we've got magnets. So this is to just to stick the butter paper so that it doesn't fly in the oven. We've got small set of uh, cutters which are very handy. We've got. Here we go. Okay. 
we've got a peeler and we've got the set of edible markers and some nice brush we everybody knows how we use it in pastry for normal use most important thing i forgot to tell them <laughs> the jbl speaker on to go without music there is nothing then i've got a sugar pump for sh my sugar work i've got various type of brushes for day to day of use in my pastry i've got this brush that you get from a hardware store this is for making truffles we've got an extractor knife we have a cello tape and a bunch of small extractor knives that we normally use i've got a iphone charger and a small first aid kit sometimes we cut ourselves and burn ourselves for that thing and i have got a set of pins which we use just to block the just to put it on a piping bag so that it does not flow over and i have set of cutters the punjan cutter batteries for my thermometer and spoon for kernels baker's knife a cork multi purpose cork for wine opener and a roller for cannelli dough or if you're making a bow tie or with fondant i have got a set of spoons to making all sort all sizes of kernel whichever you want these are the best one actually i found it and uh, i have got a set of tweezers if you want to use it for decoration or any sort of purposes so i guess that's all i have in my pastry bag thank you so much